Good day, everybody. Barbara Dave here, and welcome to Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home for our three-day video series that we do each and every week. I'm wearing my Pink Floyd shirt today for a reason, and we'll get to that in just a second. Um, for those of you that have not been on The Cadre before, which is www.theshavingcadre.com, and since the advent of COVID-19, we've been trying to find ways to keep people in good moods and to... Uh, get the TSC, the Shaving Cadre Forum community, more together. So um, the ownership, um, which consists of me and my two partners, Chad and Chris, uh, came up with the idea of doing Zoom calls. And at the time, uh, the Zoom calls were free. And so we started off Wednesday night. Now we have two Zoom calls a week, one on Wednesday, which is kind of the family game night. And then on Sundays, which we call the TSC Old Guys, which is just general chat, uh, you know, like kind of going to a clubhouse. And what that leads me to is that on Wednesday nights, the whole families, we have spouses, kids, everybody, we do games, and there's a wide ranging uh, amount of conversations that occur. Now, sometimes those conversations can occur when you get um, a little bit forgetful. And so the other day, one of the members on the TSC, uh, UA Cowboy, Kyle, uh, and him and his wife, Stacy, and his kids, uh, you know, join in quite often. Well, Kyle was bringing Johnny in uh, to get a haircut at my barber shop, and uh, as we were talking, we were getting finished on. He handed me something and said, "Oh, Stacy wants you to have this." Well, the item that she handed to me, I had no idea what it was for, and I had to get clarification later. Well, apparently, I had agreed to a stunt shave that I didn't know about, or at least I didn't remember, and I probably blocked it out because I figured it was going to be terrifying. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing a stunt shave. Now, with it being a stunt shave in traditional TSC stunt shave uh, vernacular, at the end of this video, I will tag two people. Those two people will be challenged to do this same shave with the same accoutrement as uh, we're going to be doing this shave with. So without further ado, um, we will get this started. So here are the cast of characters. Now, the most important one is the shave soap. Now, those of you that know me and my channel and the TSC know that I've shaved with pretty much almost anything you can think of. I've actually shaved with enchiladas on my face. And I figured if I can shave with GOF Trumper's Eucharist, I can shave with anything. Well, I don't know. We'll see about that. So, um, I was challenged by Stacy, and, uh, well, well, I guess here it is. Irish Spring. Yes, the Irish Spring that you all remember from your childhood. That was kind of Scottish, wasn't it? Anyways, uh, we're going to be shaving with Irish Spring. So, two people are going to be challenged to do this the same way. Now, there's a difference. You can't bowl lather. You have to face lather because we want, we want to see you use it as a shave stick. So, we want to see you rub it on your face. So, the remaining cast of characters for today as my... Uh, I'm not going to do a straight shave with this stuff. No way. Uh, we're going to be using a uh, 1961 Fat Boy. Uh, this is a very special razor. This belonged to... Uh, to my wife's father, and uh, it was pretty much NOS when I got it, so it's kind of a tribute to him. As far as the aftershave, obviously I think we're gonna need to protect as much as possible. We are going to be using the two-in-one Nivea, and of course the Aquanaut will be flying around in there as well. We're gonna use a secondary aftershave because I figured with the Irish Spring it was like a, a fougere, so we're gonna be using the Asylum Shave Works Royal Fougere, and then of course finishing up with one of my favorites, the English Fern Penhaligons EDT, and for the brush remaining the, th the green theme, we are going with the TSC first anniversary brush. So hope everybody is doing well. And as I said, at the end of this video, I will tag two people, two and two, that are uh, going to be challenged to do this. We hope that they will. Um, I think they will, knowing who they are. Uh, so this is a brand new box and I have not opened it yet. Irish Spring. Thank you, Stacy and Kyle. So, as we remember, Irish Spring. It's not quite the vintage bars, but it still has that, that striation. And as they used to say in the old commercials, those striations are what gets you clean. Marketing's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Okay, so, what I would like to do for the challenge is I'm going to use it as a shave stick. And I want the challengees to do the same thing. I 
I don't think this is going to be that bad. I think it's probably going to be drying more than anything else. And as I said, I've shaved with enchilada sauce. I've shaved with oil. I've shaved with... Well, the Eucharist obviously is the most terrifying. So we'll try, we'll try that little bit first and see what happens. It's actually lathering pretty good, but will it dissipate is what I don't know. Pretty sad state of affairs when Irish Spring, which can be purchased at your local store for, a, I don't know, 75 cents to a dollar probably, lathers better than a shave soap. Got a little bit more water. I don't expect the glide and slickness to be there, but actually not that bad. I know recently um, Major Rich shaved with I believe a bar soap made by Duke Cannon and did very well. Actually not too bad of a lather quite frankly. Okay let's see how the razor glides. Nice thing about this is lots of it left over. Okay, I've got a brand new Nasset blade on the uh, Fat Boy, and it's set to seven. And there's a little bit of a tingling going on. Okay, Stacy, this is for you. Actually, the slickness is not too bad. It is dissipating a little bit, but we're in a billion years. So far for the first pass, would you say that this is better than a shave soap? And uh, actually it is, it's better than uh, Eucharist. Frankly, that first pass was also better than uh, Crabtree and Evelyn. <laughs> Actually, a really good first first pass. Now, the key is also going to be what happens when we get to the alum portion. And we are going to do a full three-pass shave. I may have to reload because it's starting to dissipate a little bit. But we shall see. Actually, it's not too bad. Okay, pass number two. Well, Cloud, make sure that Stacy watches this because I'm doing it. She needs to watch the whole thing as boring as it is. Okay, there's pass two. Wow, we may be on our way to a DSBBS shave. Very thin lather for this last pass, obviously. Could I have shaved with a straight with this? Eh, no. Pass number three. 
fact, we may add just a little bit more soap. But it works pretty good as a shave stick. And believe it or not, it's got the the hints of uh, Irish Sir Irish moose. So it makes me wonder, hmm, should we sh shed this up and put it into a shave stick? And have a homage to the unobtainium. It does have a little bit of a tingle uh, after a bit. That's probably due to the fact that it's not really meant to shave with. but much, much slicker than I thought it would be. Now I did make it very, very wet too, so. It does catch a little bit. I don't have any weepers that I know of except one by my upper lip, but I don't know if that was caused by the soap or just me being stupid. Probably the latter of the two. Okay, there it is, three passes, let's see. A lot of tingling now. Not too much cleanup required. So, let's see what the alum says. bad and there's definitely a little bit of a tingle but that could be a factor of the soap the fact that there's a brand new nasset blade in who knows but really not that bad so putting the irish spring back in the box i think i probably will shave that up for or uh, shed that up for a shave stick maybe Now, is there any moisturizing properties at all? No. In fact, <laughs> if you can hear this, that's how much moisture was stripped. You know, basically, you might as well have put paint thinner or that goopy stuff called strippies on your face because literally, you could probably stick something to your face and it would stay there. So, yeah, not moisturizing. So... We will rectify that with the Nivea 2 and one and let's count down three, two, one, and the Aquanaut goes for a ride. And that was six drops and it literally just got vacuumed into my skin so we're going to do another six drops to see if we can replace all that moisture we took out ah, that's better and we'll put some, a little bit of an alcohol splash to the roof if, if you've not tried the roof yet from asylum 
uh, which is basically a bulgu shaving. Uh, it's fantastic. A little bit sharper than than English fern, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting the uh, Seaforth in uh, the heather because from what uh, people have said, it's a definitely a fougere, but it's more of a a lighter, not as sharp. Because this uh, this is very sharp, it it punches you in the face pretty good. Very lavender forward. Okay, for our talc today. We're going to be using our English fern talc, which we don't use that often. Only because it's hard to get. But all in all, not a bad shave with Irish Spring. Maybe the soap makers don't want us to know that. Because instead of spending $30, $40 on a shave soap, you can go down and spend $0.75 cents on a bar Irish Spring. But it has no moisturizing at all. It's probably not good for your, well, if it's good for your body, but definitely not great for your face. Okay, and then we'll finish up, of course, with the legend that is English Fern. Okay, that's it, folks. Well, Stacy, there you go. There is the Irish Spring Stunt Shave. So, I'm going to nominate two people to do the shave the same way. And that is... Nurse Dave, I am challenging you to do the Irish Spring Shave. Now, And you have to use it as a shave stick. So we can show you putting it on. And the second person, our very own Stunt Shave originator, KJ the Spider. You guys will be tagged in the video, and I certainly appreciate it. Uh, that's my Sunday shave, folks. Uh, thank you for joining me at Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. Once again, if you haven't been to the TSC before, please do so at www.theshavingcadre.com. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Take care.